Hey everybody, it's Marshall Monkey here, and yes, we had to talk about it, the James Gunn situation. We're going to talk about James Gunn being rehired by Disney and all of what comes with it. Um, I'm not taking sides in this argument, but I do want to point out the obvious the obvious things that are going on in the situation. There's a lot to talk about. Um, I wanted to make sure I got this video just right before I started to make it and uh, post it. But before we get to breaking that situation down, go follow my Twitter if you haven't. It's at MarshallMonkey8. We do a lot of updates on when videos are coming out. Uh, I'll post certain things about uh, news topics and stories that break like this one. And then we just talk about films and TV overall. And a lot of people like to talk to me through Twitter. So go ahead and follow that. But anyway, back to James Gunn. So James Gunn, as you know, who directs Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. You might know him from the Scooby-Doo films. Uh, he's been working with Disney Marvel for a long while now. But of course, he got fired, I think, last year, end of last year, um, or near the end of last year, for some tweets that resurfaced from about maybe five to ten years ago. Can't really remember the timeline on that. But anyway. Anyway, um, I think it was 10 be, to be certain. But anyway, um, so those tweets resurfaced and Disney ended up firing him, but not really. So Disney just revealed that they didn't look for any directors while James Gunn was fired. They didn't look at anybody for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. And also it's been told by insiders uh, on certain trades, certain news trades, that James Gunn was never actually fired from Disney. He was kind of like, uh, I guess, suspended, right? Or like but like a friendly suspension, right? To get this news story out uh, out of the wind, right? So basically what Disney did is that they uh, swept this story under the rug by firing James Gunn. Um, and he ended up working over at Warner Brothers for Suicide Squad 2, which we'll talk about later on. And so this whole thing kind of happened and then Disney pushed a narrative to get rid of that scandal, right? So they basically lied to everybody uh, about it. Um, and basically said, yeah, James Gunn, you know, we're no longer affiliated with him, but they really were because he was actually working for them the whole time. Um, this is really disappointing on Disney's part. I'm really disappointed in them. I don't understand why they would do this um, other than to push that narrative to where, you know, because look at this situation. Nobody's talking about James Gunn's tweets anymore. Everybody's talking about Suicide Squad 2 and Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Nobody's talking about why he was fired originally. Well, fired, right, with air quotes. Nobody's talking about that, which makes complete sense because Disney wanted it that way. But what I don't understand is that how can both studios, you know, how can he kind of have done these tweets, right, that everyone's so mad about, but come out on top with two comic book franchises. I don't get it. You know, I really don't. And if I were Warner Brothers, this situation is so, uh, so nasty and so, um, just so all over the place that I would pull him from Suicide Squad 2. I don't care what script he's provided for you. Um, and we'll talk about why that is in a second. But one thing I also want to talk about is how can Brie Larson stand this? You know, Brie Larson has recently campaigned, a huge campaign actually, around Captain Marvel um, to discipline, um, you know, white men in, in a power, you know, power stance, of course, who have this sort of behavior. The same behavior that James Gunn had, right? That he was supposed to be punished for, um, which, you know, a lot of people don't believe he should be because it was 10 years ago. But of course, you know, with activist culture and how it is now, I feel like it was a good thing that he left Disney because then he ended up with Warner Brothers, which I think is a better fit for him because they're not as strict, right? So it makes complete sense to me. And I think that actually helped him instead of hurt him. Um, and of course, Dave Bautista wanted to sign on to Suicide Squad too. I don't, he's probably not going to do that now because of course it was all part of the whole trick, right? So I don't know how Brie Larson can work with him because of course, you know, her storyline and Cat and the, you know, Guardian storylines are interconnected, so she's going to have to meet him at some point. So that would be kind of hypocritical for her to say that she, you know, is doing this campaign, but then working with James Gunn. And then also with Suicide Squad 2. So this is his new roster. Um, I was actually going to make a separate video for this a while back, but I actually, I'm glad I didn't so we can talk about it here. But you have King Shark, you have Polka Dot Man, you have all these different characters. Terrible roster. I think the only one who I actually like on this list is King Shark, but even then, 
they probably do just practical effects like they did Killer Croc in the first movie. But this is a terrible roster, which leads me to believe that James Gunn's not really serious about making Suicide Squad 2 because he knows and knew the whole time talking to Warner Brothers that he was going to be doing Guardians 3 anyway, right? Another red flag for Warner Brothers and the DCEU. And let's not forget that Disney, you know, James Gunn's working for Disney, the same company that bulldozed Captain America, or, uh, that bulldozed Batman v Superman with Captain America Civil War, right? Um, the Russos, especially Joe, you know, in specifics, actually uh, admitted for Kevin Feige uh, to greenlit this movie, Civil War, right after BVS, right? When they were announcing that at Comic-Con, right? So this is a studio that has sabotaged the DCEU publicly, right? And James Gunn is going back to work for them and doing Suicide Squad 2, which is a huge red flag. And not to mention, look at the whole situation that happened with Joss Whedon, right? Um, he was a uh, actual Marvel director at one point who worked for WB to uh, finish not redo, but finish Justice League, and that ended up being a huge, complete disaster, which divided fandom, right? So how can Warner Brothers continue to work with James Gunn? Especially now that he's axed a lot of characters, and then apparently a producer that's close to him says that the whole movie is not going to be a sequel, but re you know, soft reboot, but an entire reboot, right? Which is with Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. Um... And what he's going to do with that character now with that we think about it, you know, I don't know if that's really something that they should be touching right now. Um, so that's a huge disaster. So I would just pull Gunn from the whole project. I would not have him work on that. And then also, how does this look in terms of families, right? How does this look uh, to the public, right? I know a lot of people are like, eh, who cares? We don't even know who James Gunn is or we do know, but we don't care because it's what our kids want to watch, right? Um, and we can separate the art from the artist. But at the end of the day... Um, I think that Disney Marvel stands for a bigger part in the Disney puzzle, right? Um, in terms of representation. And this is a public scandal, right? This is, you know, they didn't just, you know, and I think that's what everybody's talking about is that some of the trades are making it look like it's fine. But in reality, you know, when you look at what's actually happening, it was a whole ruse, right? So how does that look for the Disney brand? And then also with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, you have to think about this. Disney only cares about Guardians 3 and the whole MCU, right, and making money. And that's fine, right? That's okay. Because at the end of the day, they're a company. They have to do that. But I think, you know, with the whole BVS thing that they did a long time ago, with, you know, um, what they're doing now, with sweeping the story under the rug, and then, you know, changing the narrative, I think Disney has shown their true colors this, uh, through this story. And I think Disney, you know, I don't, I don't think they can really... I don't think they can stand up and be the same the same company that they have been doing, especially with Brie Larson's campaign, which of course is more her rather than the company, but they've been backing it. I don't know. I just think it's just it's it's too much of a scandal, right? Too much. Um, but I'm curious to see what do you guys think about this? Do you think James Gunn is a better fit for both movies? He actually is still doing Squad 2 and Guardians 3. So what do you guys think about that? What do you think about the whole situation overall? Comment down below. Don't forget to like and favorite this video and subscribe. And I will see you guys later for some more videos. Bye-bye.